sin. He resisted the temptation to believe unto the flesh, so much so that he died, and that was unto him as a man appearing in heaven with his blood and then being seated in the Godhead as a man, reconciling God to the world. Okay? But then Paul says, but that's not it. How much more will we be saved by his life? So he speaks of reconciliation, and he speaks of still needing to be saved. Mm -hmm. And that's what the church, that's what's falling deaf on the church. This idea that God did something for all people to begin with, mm -hmm. that had to be done so that a truth could actually exist by which we could see it and be persuaded of it, right? Mm -hmm. We discount all that. Yeah. And, and, and then it really messes up the whole gospel. And what, you know what that's unto? It's unto a life of never experiencing the God life, right? Where you're just laboring and toiling all the time. You never believe you're a son. You're always trying to serve. You never really believe you're free from sin. I mean, I had a guy um, attack me at Bertie's meeting over the idea that I said people aren't born in Adam. Well, I will say, 